So, uh, you all definitely spoke, and, uh, I'm listening. I'm listening. I hear you. <laughs> so we're back with another tier list today, but this time, we're ranking every glove ability in the game. We have my favorite abilities, S, A, B, C, D, and F tiers. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the gloves, and then give you a little description, and move on. So this might be a little bit longer than our previous video. <laughs> so I want to give a quick shout out to Unsheepable. Thank you so much for helping me get all the little snippets that I'm gonna need for this video. But I'm still gonna try to go pretty quick on each glove, because there is 122 or 123, something like that right now. First glove, that requires negative three slaps. We have the spin. Now, I didn't grab a clip of this, but the spin is funny. But is it practical for getting slaps and stuff like that? Not really. I'm gonna put this at D tier. Next up, we have default. And I actually really like default in like the A tier. Almost S tier, but it's definitely A tier because you can get a lot of slaps with default. That speed boost, and, <laughs> and now that the fart ability can be heard by everybody. Oh, yeah. You know what? Just because you can hear the fart ability from everybody, I'm putting in S tier. If it didn't have that ability now, it would be A tier. But since it got updated, S tier. Next up, we have diamond. I'm gonna put this in C. It's nothing special because you do get penalized for using it but it can save you in a lot of scenarios so i'm gonna keep it at c next up is the z glove this ability can counter a couple gloves and if used correctly can be pretty decent but other than that it's just kind of a mid tier so i'm gonna put that at c extended oh this is definitely s tier you can get an absurd amount of slaps with it extended if you're good with it it's very good against one shots by the way but there's just so many practical uses for extended next up is brick i'm a very big fan of tossing bricks at people to make them sleep i'm gonna put this at b b for brick no it's at b because it, it, it can work really well. Like, if you're in mid-fight and you place a brick and somebody steps on it, it's GG if you're kind of near an edge. Next up is Snow. This is really good if you slap somebody that doesn't have a counter and they're slowed. It makes the fight a lot easier for you. But it's nothing more than just mid, so I'm gonna keep it at C. Next up is the Pole Glove. This glove is very useful if you're near an edge and you're an edge fighter. But other than that, it's just kind of a normal slap, so I'm gonna put that at C. It just goes reverse. The Flash ability is good. It can save you in a lot of scenarios, but if you get hit while you're using your ability, then the teleport gets all wacky, so I'm gonna put this at C as well. Next up is Spring. This is a decent glove to use if you have a table flip that's chasing you, like early game. I'm gonna put this at B because you can also use Desync with Spring to get a better advantage on a hit. Following up, we have Swapper. This ability is fantastic for a lot of gloves that use speed. So if you have like a kill streak that's in a higher tier and they're speeding around, this can easily kill them. It has a lot of good use. I'm gonna put this at B. It almost could make it into A, but I'm keeping it at B for now. Following up, we have Bull. This glove is very good, but very bad at the same time. I'm gonna put this at D. It does a lot of knockback if you know how to use this glove correctly, but the amount of time it takes between each swing, it's just not worth it, so I'm gonna keep that at D. Dice, which has the random chance of 5 to 100 power, but the dice is so random that it can work for your scenario, or it cannot work for your scenario, so it's just kind of mid for me. It can be good, but I I'm keeping it at D. I don't know. I'm not that big of a dice fan. Next up is Ghost. Ghost is easily A tier. It's not S tier, but it's, it's definitely A tier, because you can hide from, like, everything. <laughs> Thanos is also an A tier that can save you in so many scenarios. Granted, it does have a pretty long reset timer, but that's okay. If you use it correctly, you'll definitely win a lot of your fights. We have Stun. This glove is pretty decent. It can make everybody around you sit, but it definitely hits the B mark because you can get a lot of people in one little blast, and you can get a good amount of slaps off of it as well. Next up, we have Zahando. Oh, this is easily A tier. It's not quite S tier, but it's definitely A tier because this is like the go-to glove if you have a Reaper or a kill streak that is on a tear. This is the glove that that usually gets pulled out. Following up, we have Fort. Fort's great, but it's just a meme glove, so I'm gonna put that in D. Magnet, this is a really good glove. You're always pretty much guaranteed a slap, so this is definitely A tier. Anchor's pretty cool. You can surprise people with the way they fly and catch a lot of people off guard. I'm gonna put this at B. Pusher's really good. You cast out a giant wall. The only problem is how long it takes to get the wall back. I'm gonna put this at B for now. I'm renaming the bottom category to meme gloves. There's gonna be meme gloves that rank higher than that, but I wanna diversify the categories. <laughs> So we have Fort and the Spin for Meme Gloves. Next up is Space. This is really good. You can avoid a lot of hits or you can get to Brazil. So Space will go to B. Has a lot of usability to it. Boomerang's great. I made an episode on this. I thought it was slept on at the time. I like it as a B. B for Boomerang. <laughs> Dream is definitely an S tier glove because it is one of the main gloves used to get slaps. Orbit's definitely the king of the crop in that department, but Dream definitely can put up numbers. So all you gotta do is just go slap one person, move on to the next. Next up is Mail. Mail's a Meme Glove. It can can catch people off guard the first time it happens, but once it happens, you know what's coming up next, so people aren't really gonna fall for it after that. It's a meme glove to me. We have Thick. This is an S-tier glove as well, but you can get a 
ton of slaps with this. As soon as the glove is at max, or even not even at max, once it's big, you're pretty much a raid boss. They're gonna have to get some gloves to specifically take you out of the game. <laughs> so next up is Golden, and Golden's kind of interesting because it takes way too long for the ability to happen, but we're ranking the abilities right now. So I'm gonna put this at S tier because it protects against like everything. Not the full 100% everything, but like mostly everything it's gonna protect you from. So I, I like Golden at S tier for ability wise. Next up, Squid. Oh, easily A tier. I would almost want to put it at S, but since it's just a passive, it's at A. But if you want to make someone blind, Squid's the way to go. The Cheeky Ball is great. I'm gonna put Cheeky in B because it's good, but it's not like insanely good and it's not bad. It's just kind of, it's kind of there in the middle. Next up, we have Reaper. The beginning phase is definitely a lower tier, but once you get up into the higher tiers of Reaper, after slapping for a while, it easily becomes an S tier because you have super speed and you kill people in like five seconds. So the later part of it is the S tier. Early part, way, way down below. <laughs> replica is pretty good. I'm gonna throw this in A tier. You can pretty much guarantee yourself a slap every time you put out a replica unless you're facing like a one shot. Next up is defense. It can keep a lot out, but using this, you make yourself a gigantic target. I'm gonna put this up to B. After further consideration, it can protect you from so much, even though you get targeted after. Next up, kill streak. Of course, that's going in S tier. I debated favorites, but I don't use kill streak that much. So I'm gonna keep that at S tier because early stages, it's meh. But once you get into the later stages, of course, every single one of these that you're seeing, oh, they are brutal. Well, lobby that can't handle it. <laughs> we have ourselves reverse. Reverse's ability is easily one of my favorites. It's just so good. It has so many uses. It's practical in like 99% of the scenarios. Easily one of my favorites. Following up, we have Shikuchi. This is a guaranteed slap. You're probably going to get hit after, which is the problem, but it's a guaranteed slap. So I'm going to put this at A. Duelist is a really good glove. If you find somebody that you just want to continuously 1v1, or if you find a target that you want to target, Duelist is good for that, but I don't see it above a C. Next up, we have Woe. This glove is really good for creating creating distance. You get your ability pretty quick too. So I'm gonna put this at S tier. There's a lot you can do with Woe. Following up, we have Ice. This passive is pretty good. I like this ability. So I'm gonna stick this at A. The user is trapped in Ice for quite a long time, making this pretty good. Gummy's following right into A because when you slap somebody with Gummy, not only are you gonna have the opportunity to kill them, but you have the opportunity to get a slap farm on them when they have the Gummy clusters that only pop like once and they're still down on the ground right in front of you. So there's a lot of opportunities that Gummy can create. Now we have Adios. This glove can save you and a lot of events, but I don't know. I don't specifically care for this ability. I like Thanos a lot more than I do Adios. I don't know why, but I do. So I'm gonna stick Adios in the B tier. Blocked is easily an A tiered ability. You can literally fight somebody and they can't fight back if they don't have an ability that can hit a blocked person, which is hilarious. We have Engineer. This ability is fantastic for getting slaps. S tier without a doubt. Almost into my favorites, but this glove is so practical in like every scenario. Definitely recommend Engineer. I believe with Rocky Glove, you can take away a Reaper's effect, which is pretty cool, but from other people, not yourself. Ability-wise, this is an A tier. You can easily throw a rock at somebody from a distance, freeze them, and run over to them in time to hit them when they get unrocked. It's a really good glove. Following up, we have Coil. The amount of distance that you can hit somebody by makes this an A tier, for sure. <laughs> and they fly really high too right now, which is hilarious. Now we have Conveyor. This is a fun glove, because you can hit people, and they're gonna slide around. It's funny watching the people that have never been slapped by a Conveyor, because they don't jump, and they're just like, hey, where's my character going? Right off the map. <laughs> But it's nothing crazy. It's not a C, it's a B. Now we have Balloony. I absolutely love this ability. It's going in my favorites. You can give people balloons and you can create balloons for yourself and basically control wherever you want to go on this map. And that is why it's in my favorites. Phantom's a really good ability. It can get you out of a pickle very fast. I'm going to put this in A tier. It can make an argument for S tier, but I like it in A tier. Now we have Wormhole. This generally is not used for fighting. It's more or less used for memes. I'm going to stick this in a meme glove. Now we have the Stop Glove and I'm going to throw this in the D tier. I'm actually going to throw this in the C tier, not the D tier. Now you might be asking, why is it so low? And my reasoning is there's a delay to it and it's not instant. Because of that delay, most of the time people can either slap you, just barely escape, or if you slap them too early while they're still stopped, they're not going to fly back. Their head's just going to bobble. There's a lot of moments that need to be perfectly timed with stop, making this just not worth it right now. Now we have track. This glove will always guarantee you a hit on at least somebody. So I'm going to stick this in A tier. Now we have table flip. This is going to go into one of my favorites. It it does take quite a long time for this ability to charge up and then refresh, making it, you know, not the best, but it's one of those gloves that if you start using, you're going to make people mad. Like every lobby I get into, somebody's like, why are you using table flip? <laughs> 
<laughs> shield, this is pretty good. It protects against a first slap, so there's a lot of good that can be happening with shield. I'm gonna stick this actually in A tier, because you can get the ability back pretty quick. Now we have booster. This glove is more or less a meme glove. Fighting with it can be great, because if you hit multiple people with it, then they're gonna go flying and they have no control over it. But a lot of the time, you hit somebody with the booster, and then they can use it to their advantage by speeding around the map if they know how to do it. <laughs> so I like this in the meme gloves category. Next we have ping pong. This is going in one of my favorite abilities. Not only is it very easy to kill somebody with the ping pong throw, you can literally play ping pong with someone in the middle of a battle. <laughs> How can you not like that? Now we have Baller. This ability is A tier for sure. People are gonna stop what they're doing to go try to attack the Baller. Home Run is great, but the one thing hindering it is if you get slapped while charging up your ability, because if that happens, you're just kind of a dead fish laying there doing nothing. <laughs> and for that, I'm gonna stick that in the A tier. If this was the Whirlwind on release, all oh, would have been S tier and in my favorite abilities. But it's the Whirlwind now. This Whirlwind now is, uh, it, it ain't hefty, hefty, hefty. It's wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. <laughs> That's a very old commercial. Yeah, Whirlwind, uh, I'm gonna stick this in the D category. You can get the hit off, but you're flopping yourself. I don't know. I'm not a fan of Whirlwind right now. Now we have Slicer. This is gonna go into one of my favorite abilities because it is just way too good. This does so much crowd control. It is crazy. So I like Slicer as one of my favorites. Every glove that you see in the favorite abilities is S tier. I just put it in my favorite spot. Now we have Nightmare. <laughs> right, right up into my favorites. A jump scare glove? Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Granted, it's gonna be like mail in a couple weeks once you've seen it you've seen it so many times that you don't care for it but considering this dims out your screen it has a lot of usability even after so i like nightmare now we have excavator this is pretty good it can uh, dodge a lot of attacks and give kind of a good knockback but nothing absolutely wild i kind of only want to put this at b it's fun but it's not incredibly high on my ability list now we have god's hand of course god's hand is s tier you can stop time and beat people up we have the flex it's a one shot you're turning people into a solid gold old brick. <laughs> S tier. S tier for sure. Now I'm using banners for this and the air glove doesn't have a banner so this is kind of like a side profile shot of the Moai and the air kind of sitting there. But airs like the flex. All one shots are going to go into S tier because you can one shot somebody. One and done. <laughs> now overkill is going right there with <laughs> all of them. <laughs> the gods and the flex. Air and overkill. All four one shots right there. Spectator is awesome but it doesn't do anything. You're just there to spectate. So I'm going to put this at D because well actually I'm going to put this in meme. You can still be affected by gloves. <laughs> <laughs> so next up we have custom on top of being able to edit your glove edit your rock edit your speed and edit your power This glove is a counter to like 95% of the gloves the rocks are crazy So I'm gonna stick this into my favorites because it's easily s tier ultra instincts great This is gonna go into a tier 50% chance to dodge a slap. Yeah, that's awesome Now we have acrobat you can use the acrobat to not only dodge and evade But you can use this to attack and have a desync advantage I want to put this in a but I'm gonna stick this in B for now mega rock going right up there with S tier. Same thing as custom. Plague is good, but I'm gonna stick this in D tier because it takes so long. They can transition their ick to somebody else or just get rid of it by slapping you. Now we have Hollow Jack. I love this ability. It's so cool. I love being able to just send a pumpkin out and make people start to go to sleep. <laughs> but it takes so long to get the ability back that it's keeping it at an S tier. I'm gonna keep this in A tier. We have Redacted. This is meme glove. Bus is easily S tier. You could clear out a whole lobby if you hit it correctly. <laughs> so many good uses for bus. Mitten. This ability is awesome. I'm gonna put this in A. You can spawn presents that give buffs or fake presents to just goober people. This is a W glove. Next up is phase. This glove is easily S tier. The ability will save you from like everything. It's just a worth it glove to own. Now we have warp. This glove can actually be really good. It's not used that much, but it can be good, but it's nothing more than just good. So I'm going to stick this in C. Bomb is one of my favorite abilities. I love causing chaos in lobbies with bombs because if there's a lot of you goobers in one lobby with me and I just say, all right, everybody use bomb. It just turns into absolute chaos and it's always so much fun. Bubble really fun. This is really good. It's easily S tier. I almost want to put it in my favorites, but for now, I'm going to keep it in S. Jet can be really good, but it takes so long that I'm sticking this in B. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stick this in A. It has a lot of knockback, but it takes an incredible amount of time, so it's borderline B for me. Next up, we have Shard. This ability is fast, and it gives slaps. What is there not to love about that? I'm going to stick this in S tier. That is one of the gloves that is used for grinding slaps. And we have Potato. This is a fun glove, because you can uh, make a whole lobby play hot potato, which is great, but it's nothing too crazy. I'm going to stick this in B. Now we have Colt. By itself, this glove is useless, but when you have a crowd, this glove is crazy. So because it can be terrible and because it can be really good, I'm going to stick it in the middle at B. Now we have Bob. 
Okay, Bob, right up to the favorites. Bob is a fantastic glove for everything. It can kill hackers, you can slap farm people with it, or you can goober people with it. So many practicalities with Bob. Now we have buddies. This ability is awesome if you don't want to fight anybody and you just want to sit and chill. This is like the handmade spectator's glove. I'm going to stick this at B. Moon. Other than being really good at jumping, this glove's nothing special. I'm going to stick this at C. Jupiter. It'll keep you safe. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to stick this at B. Spy is hilarious. You can delete people and then become them. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in A tier. Then we have Detonator. This is easily S tier. If you just stick one good person and they get near a crowd, you can get a whole crowd just off of one person. So Detonator is fantastic to use. Rage can be fun. When you have a lot of people to slap, you're gonna be constantly in this rage mode with speed buff and knockback buffs. So I'm gonna put this at B. Trap is fun, but this is pretty much a meme glove. I don't ever see people using trap for combat. <laughs> Orbit's easily one of my favorite abilities. This is the best slap grinding glove in the game, hands down. You get way too many slaps if you know how to use this glove correctly <laughs> and we have hybrid this is a multi-use ability glove making this s tier you can go from being fast to having high jump power to having high strength or to becoming your own personal jupiter the four in one glove easily s tier next up is slapple and slapple is definitely an s tier glove because you can save yourself from combat you can knock people back and you get your ability pretty fast you get your ability back before you hit the ground so slapple is very good with its ability now we have disarm this is easily a tier it makes a very good case for S tier because it takes away the glove from somebody, but we're going to keep this at A tier. Next up is Dominance. This glove gives you a speed boost and I believe a power boost as well while you're inside of it, but nothing special other than that, so I'm going to stick this at B. Link is a troll glove that people use all the time because they slap you and then just reset. It could easily land in a meme glove, but it's A tier because it is very good. If you slap somebody, they're going to try their hardest to go slap somebody else or slap you back so they don't have that Link attached because they know at any moment they could die. Chain, this glove is A2. You can hit five or six people with this. Next up is Rattlebones, and this is easily one of my favorites. Easily. It was one of my favorites before they made it controllable. Now that you can control Larry, oh my god. God, I love it so much. <laughs> I, I just love it so much. Rattle Bones, I didn't even have to argue that much for. Easily one of the S tier gloves in this game. Next up, we have Charge. This is a really good glove for fighting a lot of people that are targeting. I'm sticking this in A, but I wanted to stick it in S. Tycoon's a fun glove, you know? You get a lot of good perks off of it, but most of the time, you die pretty fast with this glove in like a regular server. So I'm gonna stick this at B. I like Confusion because you always hear the, what the dog doing? <laughs> it's always a good meme. And it makes people disoriented, walking back and forth. They don't know which way to go, but it's nothing crazy crazy. Sticking this at a B. Glitch? Oof. This could make it into S tier and it will because you can get people get dragged from quite a far distance away into this and you can just follow them where they land and get free slaps and you get your ability pretty quick. Next up is Snowball. This is going to land in the D category. It's good against overkills and can kind of mess with a lobby a little bit but it's just uh, it's just an angle of you know. Now we have Lude and that's easily one of my favorites. It's an S tier for sure. You have to use a knockback ability on a glove to be able to hit and elude. Now we have RNG. This is pretty good. I like this glove because you never know where they're going to go. It's always random. <laughs> it's funny, but you have to, it's just a normal slap that, you know, could randomly send them wherever. I'm going to stick this in B. Now we have Fish. This is S tier and one of my favorites. It saves you in a lot of scenarios and counters so many gloves that there's no way it's not an S tier glove. Next up we have Moai. It's a good meme glove and can be used for fighting, but it's, it's okay. You know, it's okay. I'm going to stick this in B because if you get the right person chasing you, you could easily catch them. Now we have Obby. This is a meme glove. You can easily use this glove in combat by placing down the spinner or any of the damaging blocks. But I'm going to keep this in the meme gloves department. Voodoo's fantastic. I'm actually going to put Voodoo in S tier because you get double slaps on somebody. What is there not to like about a double slapping machine? <laughs> now we have Goofy. This is uh, <laughs> immediately going up into my favorites. If you're still sleeping on the Goober glove after I've told you about this like a hundred times, I don't know what you're doing. Now we have Leash. This ability is crazy. This is S tier. As soon as you slap somebody, they're done for. They're incapacitated. They're relying on somebody else to be their savior. <laughs> Flame Ring. I love this ability. It could make it into S tier, but I like it more in A tier. Kinetic's very terrible early game, but if it has the Kinetic Blast ready, it can kill the entire lobby. I'm going to put this at B tier because it can be really good and it can be really bad. <laughs> you can hit multiple people in one shot with Berserk, but I'm not going to put it in S because you stand the chance of just draining your own life away if you can't get to somebody in time. So I'm going to keep this at A instead of S. Now we have the Spark 
quirky ability. This ability is so fun to use. Your little NASCAR just going around the track wherever you please. And then once you hit somebody, guess what? They're flying away. <laughs> this is an S tier ability for sure. Boogie. Oh, this is going into one of my favorites. I love the boogie ability. Mid battle. You know what? I want to dance. You can force people to dance too. <laughs> Recall is fantastic. It'll save you in a lot of scenarios, but it's mostly a saving glove. It takes quite a bit to understand on how to use the ability off the edge and teleport people there. I'm going to keep this at A. It could easily make it an S, but I like it at A. Quake, I'm just going to stick this in B. I don't care for Quake the way that a lot of people do. Psycho, it's S tier, and it's in one of my favorites. You can levitate and float. How do you not like that? Kraken's awesome. I'm going to put this in A tier. A big old noodle coming out and slapping people. Oh yeah, for sure. Counter, I like this in A tier. If you mistime it, then it's it's wraps. <laughs> Hammer's funny for the bonks. It's going to go into B. It just doesn't make it into A for me. And then the last glove, but definitely not least, the Rob glove. I still think that this is an S tiered glove, which a lot of people probably won't agree with because they want Rob to have a speed buff. But even as is, even though people can run away, I have still been managing to catch up to people pretty easily. So I like Rob glove for now at an S tier. That is going to be the tier lists. We have all of these gloves ranked at what I think their abilities stand at. Starting off with my favorites, we have the Goofy Glove, of course, Reverse, Balloony, Table Flip, Ping Pong, Slicer, Nightmare, Custom, Bomb, Bob, Orbit, Rattlebones, Elude, Fish, Boogie, and Psycho. Those abilities right there are some of my favorite abilities in slap battles. Again, let me just say massive shout out to Unsheepable. Thank you so much for coming out and actually spending well over the amount of time I thought it was going to take to go and get every single ability for this video. You are an absolute W. Thank you so much. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know. What did you think of this list? Was it a W? Was it an L? What would you change? Other than that, I hope that every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this video. And I shall see you in the next one. Later. For real, because I'm about to be eaten. <laughs>